If you remember, we have seen that if I do separation variable, I will get one part this and another part will be the time part. What we have done is shy x comma t. We have taken a small shy x into another function g of t. This is of the this is of the format we are choosing the solution of this format. And if we do the separation variable, we know uh, g of t will come as a format of to the power minus i by h bar. So overall, uh, if we uh, for a system, if we can solve the time independent equation, that's all. If I know the evolution of the time, how it evolves, the wave function evolves with time through this. So this is the recap. This is the recap. Those who have forgotten things, we need this recap to solve this problem. Okay. So now, what is this thing? Suppose. I have a system, quantum system as an example, quantum system, example of quantum system, which we have done several times in the class is that particle in a box, particle in a box. We have seen that the uh, solution, we can write it of this format, two by L, I L by X by L, assuming that my problem is from my boundary is from zero to L, and the energy is n square by square h bar square by two m l square. Uh, 
Now, in this case, I'm giving you an example. Suppose I wanted to write shy x comma t. It should be of what format? It should be a format of in general. Should be a format of C n shy n x to the power minus e n e by h bar n equal to one to infinity. I'm talking about particularly for this system. So this is an example. So this is an example where you know the meaning of the quantum system. Quantum system, what I have talked about here. Now in this problem, what has been given? In this problem, it has been given in general time independent, but time independent. But there is argument I have given at initial time t equal to zero has been given of this following format. I want to know what is the uh, evolution of this wave function. That means how the wave function evolves in time. So that is why it is written as a subsequent time. Again, it is capital chi. So what we should do? It is again exactly. We have to write it in this format. What we have to do, we have to punch in each of the, if it is shy one, it should be corresponding to the energy eigenvalue will be E1. If it is a shy two, it should be corresponding energy eigenvalue will be E2. And similarly, the constants will be C1, C2, like that. So here, if you see, it is already written in a format, already written in a format of this summation, but here they have given only one and two. So we can write it in this format. Let me change the color again. For our problem, for our problem, we can see that shy x comma t is nothing but shy one x e to the power minus i e one t by h bar plus c two i2 as a function of x on each and minus i into t by h bar. Similarly, if I have been given here uh, c3 shy 3, then it should be in a similar fashion. It should be so everywhere I'll be punching this thing. What is the thing I'm uh, uh, including? I'll be including this object, this time dependent function here in this case. And if you see, Corresponding whatever the states I have, I have the ground state, I have the first excited test corresponding the energies are also changing. So in the ground state, it is shy one corresponding to the energy eigenvalue is E1. It is the first excited state shy two corresponding to the energy eigenvalue is E2. Similar. So this is the first part of the problem. Now the second part is what is the probability density? How I should calculate the probability density? Probability density is easy thing if you remember the formula of the probability density. It is a different color. Probability density. Probability density would be shy star shy same as shy shy star. I'm talking about time dependent. That is why I'm writing the capital. Or mod shy square. So essentially, you have to write the complex conjugate of that. Already, I have written this thing. I have to write the complex conjugate of that. The complex con conjugate will be nothing but shy star will be nothing. C one star shy one. Oh, shy one is here, so I will not talk about shy one star. Exponential will take that format. E to the power. It is minus. It should be plus i e1 t by h bar plus c2 star shy 2 exponential plus i e2 t by h bar so what we have to do now we have to compute the following to get the probability density so mod capital shy squared is nothing but shy shy star Compute this. The first one already you know C1 shy 1 e to the power minus i e1 t by h bar plus C2 shy 2 e to the power minus i e2 by h bar multiplied by C1 star shy 1 e to the power i e1 t by h bar plus C2 
star psi 2 to the power i e to t by h bar. Now I need to multiply it. So how many times will it run? It will come four times. The first one c1 into c1 star. So mod c1 square psi 1 square. Which term we have calculated? We have calculated this term with this term. Similarly, again, this term multiplied with this term, we will write it. This will be how much? C1 into star psi 1 psi 2 exponential minus i e1 minus e2 e by h bar. The next term would be what? This term multiplied with this term. So it should be C2 C1 star psi 2 psi 1 exponential uh, minus i. Uh, I will take plus i E1 minus E2 E by h bar. And the last term would be multiplying this with this. So it will be giving easy term. So mod C2 square right square. This is a little bit uh, big calculation, but that will be the answer. So this is the answer for your probability density. So these are the two answers. Now we will not stop here. We will try to justify something more. If we if we look, so this is the extra part, the extra, extra trivia. Extra trivia, we will look for that. What is the extra trivia? Let me do it in different color. If the constants are given as real constant, let's say C1, C2 are real. What is the example? Example already you know. That's why I have given you that example here. The example is given as here. Yeah, this is root 2 by L. So this is C1, C2, all are real. Now, in this case, C1 star should be C1 and C2 star should be C2. If this is the case, then what will happen? Then the probability density in that case, what will happen? So I do not to, need not to write as mod C1 square. It should be just C1 square, psi 1 square. And then last term, the fourth term, C2 square, psi 2 square. Then C1, C2, psi 1, psi 2. Now what I am going to do, I am going to take this object, E1 minus E2 T. I am going to denote this thing by theta. If I am doing that, if, if I am going to do that, it will be e to the power minus i theta plus e to the power plus i theta. And it's the bracket. And this thing I can write it in the same format. C1 square, psi 1 square plus C2 square, psi 2 square plus 2 C1, C2, psi 1, psi 2, cosine of theta. And cosine theta, if you remember, what is theta? Theta, I have already declared it over here. So let me replace the theta. Let me use the theta and put it the theta in the proper format. The theta would be what? Theta would be E1 minus E2 T by H bar. I think uh, I should write it in a different format, E2 minus E1, that if I am taking that E2 is more than E1, it should be better if I write it because inside the argument of the cosine is doesn't matter whether it is minus or plus, but for the we need it later. We'll see it later. So let me change the arguments over here. I should put it into minus e1. E2 minus e1. So now you can see that uh, in the class we have seen in a particular in a box where I have drawn psi one, psi two, all these things and uh, psi 1 square, psi 2 square. It is not dependent on time, but in this particular case where uh, the wave function itself is a linear combination of the two states, these are called the mixed states. And then here the probability density is also depending on the time. Probability density is also depending on the time, and you can see that this also oscillates. The probability density oscillates harmonically. Harmonically means in sinusoidal fashion, in this case, particularly, and the frequency will be. So this is the model of the state.
So there are many problems based on that. The key idea is if I have been given a state as a linear combination of the other time independent solution, I can easily go to the time dependent solution that capital Chi XYT just by multiplying the corresponding the energy. Suppose I have the ground state, I have to just multiply here e to the power minus e i e, uh, e exponential i e1 t by h cross. Similarly, here exponential minus i e2 uh, e2 t by h cross, and similarly in that way, whatever the linear combination is given. And if I have the if I have to calculate the probability density, I have to calculate it. Okay, this one is the simplest case. An example of here. Fine. That. Uh, all for about this problem.